Okay, let's say we want to uh, format our pivot table and then refresh it all with one button. So let's go back to our developers tab here. And um, what I'm going to do this time, um, we've um, in a previous lesson um, we did a form control. Now I'm going to do an ActiveX control so we can put some VBA, we can associate some VBA with that uh, with that button. So if I choose ActiveX control button, and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go ahead and draw my my button, and then if I right click it and I go to properties and actually that was the wrong let's right click the button itself and then we go to properties and then so um, I'm going to name this refresh format and we're going to call it refresh and format Okay, and then um, uh, notice how um, I'm I'm still on design mode. So this is that way I can I can um, I can actually manipulate the object. If I take it off the design mode now, it's a button, but there's no code associated with it. So let me put it back on design mode, and then I'm gonna double click the button, and notice how this subroutine is created for me. This is a subroutine that will that's called refresh format underscore click. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call my um, format by typing in call format, and that will call my format um, uh, macro. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete all this up here, and then. I'm going to add some code that will basically loop through the worksheet and refresh all the pivot tables. So first it calls my format macro and then this code right here will loop through the worksheet and you can copy this and um, it'll, it'll refresh every pivot table within that for each worksheet in that workbook. So now, if I just go ahead and close this, and I'm going to go out of design mode by clicking on design, the design mode button. And when I click refresh and format, it should format this pivot table as well as refresh all pivot tables on this worksheet. All right, there we go.